Hello YouTube, this is Andrew the Red. This is going to be an update video. I've, I've been, uh, haven't been away, I've just been busy uh, finishing up the semester and my coursework and all that. And now I'm free for the next three years. Although there's always something to do. It just moves on to other things. It's just not formal coursework. So this channel isn't dead, that's for sure. I'm on YouTube probably every day. Um, just not making videos. Um, this I'm gonna be doing more. I'm gonna be doing less gaming and more commentary and and kind of stuff on the the kind of work I'm doing and, and even just being in graduate school. I'm still uh, I still enjoy trading games and business type games um, like Port Royale, Patrician, um, Port Royale 3 has just come out, but I don't want to spend 40 bucks on it. I'm somewhat wary of what it's going to be like because Port Royale 2 was terrible and uh, Port Royale 1 was awesome but it was made by a company called Ascaran which I don't think they exist anymore so I I think Port Royale 3 I don't have high hopes for it but when uh, some people who have it start doing some videos I'll be able to see what it's like and if it gets if it's decent and it becomes cheaper then I will certainly buy it and and play it, but I don't know. I, I it's probably going to be crap, and I would rather play Port Royale One probably. I doubt it's going to beat Port Royale One, but it's pretty difficult to. That's kind of been a problem of all games: how to beat its first one, its first hit. So, um, if you have suggestions for uh, stuff you want to see on my channel, uh, you can always post that. I guess not. There's the comment section doesn't work as well anymore because of YouTube's new format, but oh well. Um, I guess in terms of the success of the channel, I have done a lot of not so popular games and I've gotten a lot more views because of it. Like the Minecraft stuff I did was, well, Minecraft is hugely popular so that stuff is, is not found very often. Although one of them has a lot of views but that was because it was put into a forum of one of the texture packs uh, on the main Minecraft site. So that's why the one, it was like World 3 or World 1 or something like that, had a lot of views. But um, uh, Guild 2 Renaissance, I'm nearly the only one who's got a series on that, that's why that was pretty good. Um, EU3 not so much because it's it's uh, moderately popular I suppose. Uh, EVE Online is, is, is a good choice too and I still play EVE Online. I just haven't done videos. I could do a level 4 mission sometime, but I, I just have to get around to it. I also wouldn't mind doing a video in EVE Online about the market. Uh, when I play in EVE Online, I don't run missions. I don't go to wormholes and get blown up like I did in the one video. That was just to show you what it's like to get blown up in, in a friggin' wormhole. Or perhaps that was a video to show you that I didn't. Uh, I don't use directional scanners very much because I don't. I don't do low sec, I don't do uh, wormhole space. So what I do in the game is I am an indie, which means I build stuff, and I uh, sell it, and I also print, I also make blueprints, I copy blueprints and, and all that. So I do very well in the game through only the market and building stuff. So, and I think that's actually an important part of the game it runs the game, it's the economy, the engine of the economy. The, all those people who are out PvPing wouldn't be able to do that unless someone built their ship for them, which is me. So, I'm, I, and I also, what's important is I began EVE Online with nothing. And I worked my way up to billions of ISK, which is the currency in the game. So, I also pay for the game just through in-game money. That's actually probably the main reason why I still play the game, is because it doesn't cost me any money. Uh, any real money. So I have a lot, I actually, um, in the game there's something called the Eve University which is a private, like it's 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 non, non-employees of the game have set up a newbie kind of, um, it's actually fairly big and well known in the game. Uh, they set it up to help out new players and I actually taught once in their, uh, one of their classes that they do like formal classes you uh, listen in, you do it through Vent or whatever, TeamSpeak. Or, and it was about industry. And I taught a class on it because I've, I've gone from zero to billions of ISK in working my way up building 
uh, like ammo, for example, then getting into drones, and then getting into frigates and cruisers, battle cruisers, battleships, and then what I do now is carriers and uh, dreadnoughts recently, and they sell for about two and a half bill each, or two bill each, depends on which one it is. Actually, even more recently, I've been building jump freighters, which sell for four bill now, I think. So that could be something interesting because I, like I said before, I am business and trading games. I like to, to kind of build a business, like Port Royale 1 is a perfect example for that. And Patrician, you build industry, you make money, you find where the best profits are, you run those things. So, and I've also done that even online, so I'd probably be instructive to do a video on that. So if you have suggestions, uh, let me know what you want to see, but keep in mind my interests and I'm, this isn't a, this YouTube isn't a job, I don't get paid for this, so I'm only going to play what I want to play, so if there's some game that is within the trading and business realm, that's a good one, let me know. Like for example, Capitalism 2, I've got, it's a good game. Although it's fairly similar to... Oh, I should talk about the Industry Giant 2. What, that reminds me. So, Industry Giant 2, I played a bit of it maybe about a week ago. And I don't think I can keep playing it. You know, I, I'd have to uh, let it run for a couple hours. There's not much to do. I have to wait for stuff to be invented. I could start a new map, as I did, and uh, and start playing again with the, keeping the technology... Although, I don't know, the, the first time I did that, like my very first Industry Giant 2 series had a lot of views and had a lot of comments. I had that, I thought I had a really good setup, the let's play, the true let's play, meaning that I wait and read your comments and, and continue. But it didn't go very well after I changed the map. People stopped caring and, and I didn't get as many comments and then the whole let's play kind of fell, fell out of uh, place. Not only was the purpose of playing Industry Giant 2 to show the game off and because it's a not so popular game that I get a lot of a more dedicated audience. I also enjoy the let's play meaning that you add, you add your comments and help me in the game but it, after I changed the map the first time I lost a lot of, of people who, who regularly commented and, and uh, added to the, the game. So I don't know if Industry Giant 2 is going to work out uh, as a continued series if I change the map and I just get less and less people that care. So, and I've also lost interest in it as well. It's a, not a bad game, but I think Transport Tycoon is is uh, a better game. But of course, it's also really popular and it's probably not playing. I do have a neat map. Actually, I was trying to record it the other day. I have a map that I'm really, really far in Transport Tycoon where you get you're up to its past. You have trains, and then there's another one, monorails, and then there's another one where they kind of slide. I have one of of that where I have a central hub, and everything comes to the central hub, and I have highways. That's I think that's a really neat game that I have going, but I have I haven't been able to find a way to record it yet because Fraps doesn't work. So that's a possibility if I find a decent recorder to show that off. The reason is I can't find a recorder that will, that's not Fraps, that records both the game, the video part, and the audio of the game. I have, I have found recorders that will record the game and also a mic, but it won't record the stereo and the video. Only Fraps does that, that I have found. So if you know something, let me know. This is taking So anyways, uh, leave some comments and let me know uh, what you think. Um, obviously, you are not irrelevant, or I wouldn't be on YouTube at all. Um, so, if you want to leave a comment, then uh, I'd be glad to have it.